Lord. We are in a very, very beautiful situation. No one cut a piece from the new sari and patched with the old sari. No one. Clear? It is clear or not? What about fathers? Suppose you get a new cassock. Will you cut that? Because you love that old cassock. Oh, so many years I was wearing this. This is good. It is, it, it is torn, but doesn't matter. I will cut a piece and patch with that. Will you do that? Sisters, will you do that? Jesus said, never. What a fantastic parable. See, what an excellent... See, Jesus' parables are eternal. But he used temporal uh, samples of no one. No one. So what you will do? Once you receive a new cassock, you thereafter wear that new cassock. You forget with the old. Maybe you can keep it in the almara as a relic. <laughs> Once you get a new sari, the old is kept in the almara, in the cupboard. Then you wear the new one. You don't mix this together. Please read it once again. Everybody, please open your Bible. Read that. No one tears. Where is it? Luke chapter, chapter 5. Verses 36. And this Luke 5 is like Luke 15, a very important chapter. This is where Dukinal Thum. Throw your net into deep. Peter, like any other people, were doing fishing peripherally near the shore, caught nothing. So he said, now, Jesus is in the boat. He said, and Jesus said, move your boat and throw your net into deep. <laughs> Peter said, Lord, whole night I worked hard, caught nothing. This is old, this is old. What was missing there? What was not there in the boat? Jesus. Whole night he worked hard. That is Pharisee attitude. I mean, this is the old covenant. This is the law. Ten commandments is given to you. You must obey this. Otherwise, you will be punished. Do huh. you understand? I am very sorry. Some of you may feel not good with me, particularly sisters, because they have not only Ten Commandments, <laughs> they have another set of rules of the Constitution and another set of rules of the local community. Their life is only to follow these rules. The superior is coming. Okay, okay. We are not supposed to talk like this. Come on, come on. Go away, go away. Okay, okay. Why? Because you are afraid about the superior. <laughs> so, you are incidentally living just afraid because you are afraid of someone. Don't worry. They understand it easier, you know, in this way. Now, let me not go away from this theme. This is a very, very deep theme. Be attentive. If you don't, if you have doubt, you can surely ask me later. But first you ask Holy Spirit and the wisdom of the Holy Spirit. Now, anyway, so... Jesus told Peter, move, throw. This is what we have to do. Don't stick with the peripheral fishing. 
they had the habit of interpreting the word literally like where is my where is my phylacteries <laughs> Ah, no. Where is it? No, no, that black thing. It's, ah, it's here, yeah, it is here. Phylacteries. So they literally took the word. You can literally take the word also, but that is a peripheral fishing. Now go into deep. Now, I am telling as my own example, but you must understand this is also your example. Initially, I also used to speak. Now I am going to preach something which I used to speak 10 years back. 10 years or 15 years back, from the main stage and from Porta Asram and from the main stage and from here, all the stages I used to preach. And you know, all Porta Fathers and all of us used to preach a, a preaching. Listen now. Jeremiah chapter 29, 11 says, Someone, I hope it must be by heart for all of you. See, it is by heart for all of you. Come on, say, I have a plan for you. A plan not for your destruction, but for your prosperity for your good future oh everybody feel very happy uh -huh. so I will get a visa <laughs> my financial problem will be solved so you once again say repeat everybody I have a plan for you not for your destruction but for your Welfare. prosperity when you come to me when you Cry with me, I will listen to your prayer and I will restore your future. Literally, it is consoling, correct? Correct? But that is a fishing only on the shore. <laughs> when you go into deep, listen everybody, what is the meaning? Now this is another word you must learn, allegorical interpretation, allegorical interpretation. That is, every word in the Holy Scripture is aiming to Kairos. Every word is pointing to Jesus and the new covenant and the coming of the Messianic kingdom. This you must apply. Now with that understanding, you again say, I have a plan for you. A plan for not for your destruction. Now I am adding a little bit. Even if your sins are crimson red, I have a plan to make it as white as snow. I will send my son as a messiah. He will restore your life. Only you take him in your boat. He will do everything. See the difference? This is a preaching from the Old Testament. Old Testament with the as a new wine. Now in the Old Testament, you must find Jesus. So wherever it is written, I have a plan for you. Not your destruction means your sin is not going to destroy you. Because I have a plan to save you out of your sin and give you a life of glory. I will restore you. I will restore you Means I will give you that glory which your ancestors Adam and Eve had before their sin. I will give you that. And that is what even Ezekiel. I will sprinkle clean water upon you. 
I will cleanse you from all your uncleanness. I will take away your stony heart and give you a heart of flesh. Sixteen times in that passage, the word is used, I will, I will, I will. Not even one time it is written what you should do. You should only receive it. You are the subject. You are the recipient of this. What are you to do? I am that stony heart. He said, I will take away your stony heart and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you. <laughs> I will put my spirit within you. Then who will you become? What will you become? <laughs> you will be no more you. You will become I. And then you will be able to obey all my commandments. And I will cleanse you and save you from all your uncleanliness. And then you will be holy, holy, holy. What am I to do in that? I have to only receive this, which God has already pre-planned. So, instead of that, if you, oh, no, 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 I want that old sari, that is enough. That is only a little bit torn off, I will cut a little bit from the new and patch up. No one do it. But that is what we are doing now. In spite of this new covenant has come at the cost of the shedding of the blood of Christ we don't consider it. We still using our old stuff. This you must confess. This is a sin against Holy Spirit. What is the sin against Holy Spirit? Sin against Holy Spirit is this, that in spite of the salvation has come, without honoring that salvation, you still continue to be like a Pharisee and doing what you want. That is what Pharisees were doing. That is what Pharisees were telling. You are casting out demons through Belzebul. Oh, please, 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 don't say like that. You may say anything against me. Don't say anything against Holy Spirit. And what are we doing? We are... Sorry, I am not blaming you. I am just bringing that point. Because you are not an ordinary group. You are the preaches in this great retreat center wherein the whole world is expecting real spiritual riches. You are ministers who preach 24-7 in this great center and from international level people are coming and listening to you. Therefore, you must be a channel of the new wine. You have to, you have the responsibility to throw the net into, throw the net into deep. Throw the net into deep means throw the net into the new covenant, not sticking to the old. In old, whole night I worked hard but caught nothing. But the new is in the same boat, same sea, same uh, fishing uh, fish, fisher, but what is the difference? Jesus in the boat. Jesus in the boat. He says move. And full of catch. Such a mighty catch. That is evangelization. 
not through your verbal power but your transcendent power of Christ in your boat the new wine has come keep that new wine in your boat that's all you will get great catch so this is what Luke 5 at the end of Luke 5 he is spiritually giving a break mystery come on read 536 St. Luke chapter 5 verse Luke 536 and he also told them a parable no one tears a piece from a new clock to patch an old one otherwise he will tear the new and the piece from it will not match the old clock likewise no one pours new wine into old wine skins otherwise the new wine will burst the skins and it will be spilled okay the two examples have a very very deeper meaning He says, no one do it. But at last, he says, but the one who habituated in drinking the old wine, he say, old is good. That means he's doing. That is the Pharisees and all those who follow the Pharisees, all the Pharisee teachings. We are Christians. Baptized, so you got a new cloth or not? What have you received in the baptism? New clothes. You are clothed with Jesus. You are clothed with Jesus. Jesus is in your boat. All you have been baptized into Christ. Have put on Christ. Hallelujah. This is an Eastern liturgical hymn. From the Easter to uh, Easter to Pentecost in the Holy Mass, several times they chant this: "All you have been baptized into Christ, have put on Christ." Hallelujah! Every time before reading the gospel, after reading the gospel, before Holy Communion, at least five, six times this chant is repeated. All you have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. You are another Christ. Christ is fully in you. With all glory in you. Then how can you do something old? Song. This is where we need a change. Change. This is called renewal. Renewal from the old to new. So the wine, wine skin is a very familiar thing for them. <clears throat> no one fill the new wine to old wine skin. No one. Because the wine skin will break. Now, what is the wine skin here? That is our personality, which need a renewal. And what is the renewal we need? Not from our sin, but from our Pharisee nature. That is our nature of focusing the old covenant must be changed to focusing on the new covenant. Focusing only on the commandment must be changed to focusing on the spirit of the commandment. What is the spirit of the commandment? Love. Whereas, ah, now it's very clear, correct? It is written in the Moses' words that heart of the commandment, oh, hear Israel, Love your God, come on, with all your heart, with all your strength, with all your mind, with all your soul. And also, 
love your neighbor as yourself this is the spirit of the 10 commandments but they did not consider the spirit of the 10 commandments instead they wrote down the letters of that commandment and put it on their forehead yes we are the lawyers we have the commandment on our head we have learned this commandment this is imposed on you you must obey this if anyone do not obey this you will be punished so if at all they obey <laughs> sisters pardon me they obey because of the fear of the punishment greatest punishment for a sister is see if you are not obeying all these things i will send you out okay 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 i will obey okay. right from the first day of the entrance to the convent they are frightening in the advertisement before entry there is very sweet words oh my dear little children come to the vineyard of the lord ishoide mundri tottil vele chiyan kunya nijathi mari swagatham and these little girls intoxicated with the love of jesus went inside hmm 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 see what is written obedience obedience is greater than and that is also today's reading <laughs> oh my god <laughs> in today's reading that is also what the obedience is greater than sacrifice that is old here also obedience is there but who is giving the obedience the holy spirit is giving you such a love that you are intoxicated with the love of christ that experience will make you another type of obedient not because of fear but because of love imagine once you bring this covenant our convents and our seminaries will again become full now it's all going away okay new wine so new wine skin and the old wine skin means our new creation unless you become a new creation it is not our work whose work it is it is the work of the lord time for mass but we will connect this now now you see this in st john's gospel chapter 2 you saw the water changed to wine this water was on stony jars stone jars eventually even the stone jars will be changed to new jars this theme of a change is the heart of our sacraments mainly the sacrament of the eucharist the whole sacrament is to change each one of us and to the whole world and the whole world and the whole world a change a change to the whole world i was quoting the preface okay now in john's gospel if you see the whole theme of john's gospel is the same water changed to wine that is the whole theme of john's gospel Now you see preface of sundays in ordinary times for preface of sundays in ordinary times for new translation 
for by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state you can write it down by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state humanity don't at all look only for you in the holy mass today especially you only think about the whole humanity <laughs> automatically you will also receive because you are one in the humanity so you will receive it so don't offer your mass you offer his mass <laughs> which was offered for the whole humanity by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state and by his suffering please write down and by his suffering cancelled out our sins by his suffering cancelled out our sins please write it please once in a while remember this he cancelled our sins he acquitted us he cancelled our sins by his raising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life new life new life means eternal eternal life by his raising from the dead he opened the way to eternal life eternal life by his raising from the dead he opened the way to eternal life and by his ascending to you o father he has unlocked the gates of heaven by his ascending to you o father he has unlocked the gates of heaven and so with the company of all angels and saints we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim you see it is a mystery so we must we must ponder so let us think quickly we may take another 5 minutes please excuse me you see everybody raise your hand and just give a little pat on the person nearby loving pat tum tum okay good okay if needed a strong pat <laughs> okay now listen this is a introduction for the mass also st john's gospel in 5 minutes i will explain the whole st john's gospel now <laughs> in 5 minutes no need 5 minutes so now chapter 2 chapter 2 we understood what is chapter 2 a transubstantiating of one creation to a another creation water is a creation this creature water is recreated to new wine it looks like water but when you drink <laughs> this is not water anymore this is new wine i said molecules change from h2o to ch3 ch2oh this is the same essence which is the heart of the spirit christian spirituality through coming of jesus through bringing the holy spirit to us and this you can see jesus saint john explain in chapter 1 itself so in chapter 1 verse 12 says chapter 1 12 chapter 1 12 says who ever accepted him but to those who did accept him he gave power to become children of god children of god to those who believe in his name yeah. those who believe in his name and those who accepted him he gave power to become children, children of, of god, god. Pay attention. Who is that children of God? Continue to read. Next sentence. To those who believe in His name. Waiter, continue. 
13 and 14 who were born not by natural ah, generation who were born not by natural generation biological birth but no by human choice but by a man's decision but of god but of god and the word became flesh yes that is our baptism so through our baptism we who were i was born as a child of my parents biologically but soon after that on 7th or 8th day i was taken to the holy altar that is the uh, baptismal baptismal pond and there i was brought and that is the womb of the mother church the womb of the mother church wherein christ has baptized me through the person priest or anybody and through that baptism i become a child of god raise everybody hands what have you become child of child god child of god what have you become child of god please bring the lighter please lighter and so that is the that is the baptism that is my create creature my nature biological nature is changed to a spiritual nature water changed to wine we have to educate our people about the baptism even how to celebrate the baptism in a meaningful way and what happens in the baptism and we have to recollect we have to recollect when i put off this fan we have to recollect the baptism please right look here in the baptism you will find the baptismal pond there and nearby there must be the easter candle this easter candle was dipped in the water three times as if like jesus himself dipped in the river jordan and the whole water of the river jordan sanctified become a baptismal water for the whole humanity and that lumen christi from that lumen christi another candle is lighted and given to you thomas you are the light of the world now look here is there any difference this is lumen christi this is thomas christi or lumen thomas okay lumen thomas so all you have been baptized into christ have put on christ that is why we keep two candles here one is christ another is you each one of you but what is important is you will receive you will become a light only when you melt <laughs> when you melt you have to melt now as i thomas i had to melt for my family for my wife for my children for my society for the whole world in various ways when i melt i keep on burning if i do no no no, no i don't want to melt like this then i don't melt then finito what type of christian you are 
do you want to be a burning christian then you should melt so through that melting day by day your old nature will melt off and bring newness so this is chapter 1 chapter 2 we already knew chapter 3 This Cana wedding was a famous wedding. All the reputed people were invited there. So surely Nicodemus, as a head of the Jewish teaching authority, was also there. And this Nicodemus little bit understood about what happened there. <laughs> Next day in the night, Nicodemus put a cloth on his head. without somebody knowing he came to jesus because other jews should not know that he is going to jesus in the night and he said you are a teacher come from god <laughs> i am a teacher nicodemus i teach all the what i have learned from the books but you are different you are a teacher come from god no one can do such signs unless god is with him 